So hopefully you have seen my previous video on how to solve a perfect cube equation, including the complex solutions. Today, let's take a look at this one. We have x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x plus 3 is equal to 0. I'm going to show you guys this way to do it, the omega way. Have a look. First though, notice we have 1, negative 3, positive 3. This right here should remind you of the Pascal's triangle. Have a look. 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1. You just add these two numbers to get the next one. Once you see a 3 for the third power, you can stop. This right here tells us if today we are trying to expand x, let's say, plus 1 to the third power, you will end up with x to the third power plus the next thing is x squared, right? But you are going to put this down for the coefficient. In fact, the 1 is right in the front. And the next one, the power of x goes down by 1. And then you just put this down for the coefficient. And last, the 1 cube, which is this one right here. So 1, 3, 3, 1. But now you are thinking, this is positive 3. Here we have negative though. Don't worry. Seriously, don't worry. Why don't we look at this as x minus 1 cube? In that case, you are going to get the first is positive x cubed, next is minus, and then you will have the 3 x squared, and then plus 3x, and then lastly, negative 1 to a third power, so it's minus 1. The sign alternates is because you can look at the negative 1 to the third power at the end, negative 1 to the second power, right, which is positive. Add a negative 1 to the first power, which will give you negative. Yeah. Ah, they are almost the same, but this is a minus 1. This is a plus 3. Don't worry. Let's move this to the other side. So x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x. Leave a space, and we get negative 3 on the right-hand side. What's the number that we want here? Negative 1. Minus 1, both sides. This way, the left-hand side gives us just x minus 1 raised to the third power. And the right-hand side gives us negative 4. Now, we have a perfect cube equation. right? This normal x is just x minus 1 to the third power. So, we can take the cube root, both sides. So that this and that cancel. Now, the omega way. 1, omega, omega squared. It's just that when you take the square roots both sides, you remember the plus or minus. If you want to find all the solutions, when you have a perfect cube equation, after you take the cube root on both sides, you remember to put, put down 1, omega, and omega squared. So this tells us x minus 1, it's equal to negative, instead of the cube root, in the real world, you can put that in the front, so it's negative cube root of 4. Take this, multiply by 1, right, and then I will just put it on this. It's like, multiply by 1, omega, and omega squared. Because I'm going to put the 1 to the other side. So we have three answers. Check this out. 1 minus cube root of 4 times 1, doesn't matter. Next, 1 minus the cube root of 4 times omega. Remember, the omega is only multiplied with this part, and after that, you have to do the 1 minus the result. Lastly, 1 minus the cube root of 4, and then times omega squared. And ladies and gentlemen, you can present this for the answer. This is the only real one. These two are the complex ones. What's omega, you ask? Well, you should have seen my previous video, but don't worry, I got you. Let me write it down for you. Negative 1 half plus cube root of two, cube root of 3 over 2 times i. And then omega squared is negative 1 half minus 
cube root of 2, cube root of 3 over 2, and then times the height. So take this, multiply with that, work that out, and then do the 1 minus, etc. etc. Look, how nice is this?